Well, hey there, I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero. Well, we are just starting to see some of the leaves change colors, and if you want to go see uh, where the leaves are the best right now, well, here is what we're working with. The uh, colors that you see in orange and red, that's where we're seeing some of the best peak colors, but you're going to have to travel pretty far to see those. So you either have to go uh, along or to the west of the mountains to see where some of those leaves are changing right now. We're just starting to see a few of those trees change colors for the district and the surrounding metro areas and further east you had ooh, not so much uh, color changing there. All right, here's a look at your forecast for the rest of your Tuesday temperatures today, making it into those about mid 70s and we'll see lots of sunshine. I don't think we're going to really see a cloud in the sky for today as we head into your evening and overnight hour is, is going to cool off pretty significantly. Temperatures dropping into those low 50s. So the last dog walk tonight, you are definitely going to want to have the uh, sweatshirt along with you and that's going to be the pattern as we continue throughout really the rest of the year. We're getting into those uh, cooler temperatures. A few other high temps across the region 73 in the district 70 for Gaithersburg Leesburg at 71. Same temperature there for Front Royal, Lorray and Orange upper 60s for Winchester. Here's what we look like on Futurecast for today. It is clear. It is sunny after school sports. They're going to be uh, nice and uh, well dry and then for your commute home. Same story there. You'll still want to have the sunglasses for your commute home. It is going to be uh, pretty sunny out there overnight. We're nice and quiet. Another great night to go look at the moon, see some of the stars. We're going to be nice and clear getting into the day on Wednesday. It's still going to be really nice outside. However, we are going to bring around some additional cloud cover. It's not going to be a mostly cloudy day, but it's not going to be quite as sunny as what we've been seeing for the last couple of days. So be aware that a few of those fair weather cumulus clouds are expected to uh, start to develop and they'll continue to increase, especially as we head towards the later part of the day. Now this is our most active model that I'm showing you and I want you to notice it does show a couple stray showers possible for the day on Wednesday. No, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of rain, but just be aware. Yes, you might see a stray sprinkle for your Wednesday. The majority of the rainfall that we're expecting this week that's coming on Thursday. We'll wake up to mostly cloudy skies and a few showers across the region. I don't think your commute to work is going to be all too messy. However, your commute home, that's when things change up a little bit. We're going to start to increase those pockets of heavier rainfall heading into the late morning and early afternoon. We'll go through a, a little bit more of a detailed look at future cast here in just a little bit, but let's talk about the severe threat that we've got heading into Thursday. So we are in a marginal risk from the Storm Prediction Center. So what does that mean? That's a level one out of five as far as our risks go. So our risk for a severe storm is low, but it's not quite zero. What I would tell you right now is if you've got outdoor decorations, uh, I know a lot of people have those Halloween decorations out. I would move them inside or make sure they are tacked down really, really tight so that they don't blow away. I think the biggest threat we'll see will be some very gusty winds, so we don't want to see all of those uh, fun decorations in uh, your neighbor's yard uh, with those gusty winds. So something to keep in mind heading into the next couple of days. Rain chances are best for Thursday and then I think maybe a few sprinkles early on Friday morning, but by the time most of us are awake, that rain is out of here and then into the weekend. We've got some more sunshine on the way. I'll show you what that looks like. Here we go on future cast a little bit more of a big picture look here. Wednesday, we're just a partly sunny and then there's the cold front. So all of this rain is coming out ahead of this front and it's going to bring some energy, but it's not bringing a ton of energy. Usually when we see those big old pockets of uh, yellow and red, we can infer that we've got a good amount of energy. Just not seeing that with this cold front quite quite yet. So this passes through throughout the day on Thursday to the pre dawn hours of our Friday. Once it passes, it's going to sweep away the cloud cover and all that wet weather, and we've got a good amount of sunshine in the forecast for Friday into Saturday, even into Sunday, but then things change up once again, getting into Monday of next week. You see, as we play through your weekend, maybe a stray shower before most of us wake up on Sunday morning, and then we'll bring back those rain chances getting into Monday and also on Monday. We've got a cool off coming. Check out your 10 day temperature trend here. If you like the warmer temps, soak it up while you can. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're still in the 70s. A bit of a cool off with the cold front Friday on through the weekend. And then another cold front comes through early next week. That is going to bring us a bit more rain and check out what it does to those temperatures. We could potentially be hitting the low 50s getting into next week. So it's probably time to break out some of those uh, warmer jackets. Here's that seven day forecast for you. Again, we're going to watch Thursday for our potential next weather watch alert day. We'll continue to keep you updated on what that might look like, but a lot of sunshine through Wednesday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're back to the sunshine with another chance for rain coming around on Monday.